I gave you another winning bet yesterday with the Lightning minus one and a half goals against Montreal. They ended up winning the game 4-1 with the Canadians scoring a late garbage goal. My free picks on YouTube have generated a 3-0 record this week, so we are already guaranteed of having yet another positive week. Way to go, Team MJ! Let's bring out the dollar glasses, shall we? You can see on your screen the four betting picks I had made on my Patreon page yesterday. Now we have a monster slate of 11 NHL games today. So let me unveil my top betting tip for December 29. Also, towards the end of the video, I'll have a nice surprise gift for you. Stick until the end to find out what it is. My favorite bet in the National Hockey League for Thursday, December 29 is the Toronto Maple Leafs with the minus one and a half puck line at the Arizona Coyotes. As you can see on your screen, the best odds I could get at 9.15 a.m. Eastern Time were minus 106 in American format or 1.94 in decimal odds. My main argument for this wager is similar to yesterday's regarding the lightning pick. We have a much stronger team facing one of the worst hockey squads in the league, playing in a situation where it is almost guaranteed that the strong team will not take them for granted. The main reason here is the fact that the Coyotes are coming off two straight wins, including a huge upset of the Stanley Cup champions, the Colorado Avalanche. It's hard to envision the Leafs taking Arizona lightly and not putting a good effort on the ice tonight. Toronto's start to the season was below expectations after they won 10 of their first 20 games. But since November 23rd, they have racked up an astonishing 12-2-1 record. It is also interesting to note that Toronto has an 8-1 record the last 9 times they faced a team with a losing record. I'm sorry Arizona fans, but I don't see the Yotes pulling off a second straight huge upset. In fact, I would not be surprised if the Leafs took this game by a 3 or 4 goal margin. Give me Toronto with the puck line tonight, please. As promised in the introduction, it's time for my surprise gift for you. Are you following the Hockey World Junior Championship that is taking place these days? This is a tournament that I absolutely love watching, and I follow it closely every year. Today there are 4 games on the menu and I will share my thoughts on 3 of them from a betting perspective. I'm not claiming they are great bets, so don't get mad at me if these plays lose. Just sharing my own thoughts, that's it. Let's take a very short break before diving into those betting tips. At 1.30 p.m., the Czech Republic will square off with Sweden, the latter being established as a one-goal favorite. If forced to bet, I would go with Sweden minus one goal at minus 108 odds. They beat Austria 11-0 before offering a very disappointing performance against Germany, a game they won 1-0, which was stunning. But that's precisely why I believe they will play harder today and beat the Czechs by 2, 3 or 4 goals today. The Czech Republic pulled off a stunner by beating Canada before winning 9-0 over Austria. I don't believe they will win a second game against one of the powerhouses of this tournament. 
At 4 p.m. we have a matchup between Switzerland and the US. I'm taking the Americans minus two and a half goals at minus 125 odds. Again, the motivation level explains my pick. The US were the victim of a 6-3 upset against Slovakia yesterday, while Switzerland won't feel like they absolutely need to win this game after picking up a couple of overtime wins over Finland and Latvia. I expect an easy win by the Americans. Finally, the late game involves Canada facing Austria. The latter lost 11-0 and 9-0 so far in the tournament, which explains why Canada is a 10.5 goal favorite. This time, if forced to bet, I would go with Austria. After suffering through a surprising 5-2 defeat in their opening game against the Czechs, Canada felt the urge to display a great performance yesterday against Germany. They did just that in an 11-2 victory. However, they won't feel the same urgency today, and they are playing the second leg of back-to-back -back games while Austria had a day off. Obviously, Canada should handle Austria easily, but I don't believe they will win by 11 goals or more. I see a 7 or 8 to nothing win for Canada. I am so grateful that you have decided to spend some time with me today. I would like to thank you personally, my friend. I hope to see you again for my last pick of the week tomorrow. I'm Professor MJ, University Statistics Teacher, saying so long.